Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about properties of exponents, and we're going to simplify this problem. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help, you use Minute Math. So, 3x to the third, y to the negative 1, z to the negative 1 power, all over x to the negative 4, y to the 0, and z to the 0. I always first look at my coefficients. We have a 3 here and a 1 in front of that x to the negative 4th power. Well, the 3 really can't have anything done to it, really, so we just leave it as a 3. Okay? So now we'll deal with the x's. Look at the exponents. x to the 3rd power divided by x to the negative 4. Subtract the exponents. 3 minus, let's put it here so you can see it, 3 minus a negative 4 is like adding a positive 4 that's 7. So positive 7 stays in the numerator. We have x to the positive 7th power. Now, let's look at the y's. Hmm. We have y to the 0 power. Well, y to the 0 power is just 1. We don't really need that there. It's there to trick us. So we have y to the negative 1 power. Well, we can't have a negative exponent. It needs to be positive. Bring it to the denominator. Make it a positive exponent. And it's to a 1 power, y to the 1 power we leave it there without writing the 1. Same thing with the z. They're trying to trick us here. z to the 0 power is just 1. Leave it as such. Same operation happens. z to the negative 1 exponent. Don't want that in the numerator. Put it in the denominator. z to the positive 1 power. Again, don't write that power to be 1. Just leave it as such. And we have our final answer here. 3x to the 7th power over yz. And that's it. If this video was helpful for you, please subscribe to our channel and like this video. This helps us make more free oof, math lessons for you and for students all over the world. So, as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help, you use minute math. Minute math, minute math, when you need help, you use minute math. Minutemathtutor.com